Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Welcome to another Ficus Friday. The tree I'll be working on today is one of the Ficus sisters, the one I call plain because it doesn't have a lot of aerial roots. The Ficus sisters were two trees that I bought at a big box store. They started out almost identical looking and I've been training them in two different styles. One fancy with lots of multi trunks and branches and aerial roots, the other plain and simple. In recent years, it's been my goal to style this tree to look like the giant home tree in the movie Avatar. I've been trying to develop a very flat spreading umbrella canopy and it's slowly getting there. Today I'll be pruning the tree back and repotting it. I went and looked at the playlist for this tree, the Ficus Sisters playlist, and I haven't repotted this tree since the year 2015. So it's been seven years that the tree's been in this pot without any root pruning. So that's a long, long time. I have done a lot of surface root correction but nothing to the main root base of this tree. And this tree does have a lot of work to do on the roots. A lot of these roots kind of go straight down into the soil. There's a lot of kind of crossing roots underneath the root base. It needs a lot of root work, this tree. The roots don't really flare out into the soil. They kind of just go straight down. Some of the ones off to the side aren't bad, but these main ones out front, they just go, kind of go straight down and there's some weird crossing root out front. I remember the last time I repotted this, the root system wasn't that good. So today, hopefully, I can do some corrective work. I'm going to start today's work on the canopy of the tree, shortening it back. You can see there's a lot of nice hanging shoots here, but they're kind of getting long without any subdividing, without any change of direction, and without any taper. So they're kind of just long, skinny branches. So I've got to prune it back to make it more compact, grow new branches out, prune those back, and slowly build up taper and movement to these primary branches in the umbrella-shaped canopy. Here's a good example of a branch I'll be working on. You can see the branch comes off, starts swinging skyward. It was pruned. A new branch has come in, diving down, and it too is starting to curve up at the tip, but the weight is holding it down. So I like this, so I can prune this branch. I've got a leaf to the left here, a leaf to the right. So if I prune just above there, I could get a branch coming left and one right. If I prune to this downward facing leaf out here like this, the branch is still too long. So I've got to prune back to these other two, like that. I also have a stub I can clean up here. So I'll clean that up like that. I have a branch kind of reaching skyward here. Um, I'm going to leave it on for now. More leaves, more vigor to the tree. I could defoliate the entire tree and then work on the branch structure, but I don't think I need to. It's not dense enough. I can still see it all the branch structure, so I won't defoliate it. Defoliating takes the tree back quite a step. It, uh, it would take three, maybe four weeks before it starts growing new leaves in. And by that time, summer is starting to come to an end. So I'll leave as many leaves on as I can. All right, I'll prune away at the branches and we'll come back and see what the canopy looks like. It'll be much smaller because I'm pruning it back. I'll pick my best branches. There'll be a lot of decisions to make. And if there's any kind of major decisions, I'll show you a detailed view of those. If not, we'll come back and we'll just see the canopy all pruned up. Thank you. 
I've completed an initial pruning, just kind of getting the worst of the long branches pruned back. So here's a look at the canopy. So you can see it's a better shape. Looks more like an umbrella. It's a little more compact. So now I've got to go in and really take a look at the detailed structure. So I've got to come in. I've got to follow all these branches up. There's a lot of branches that are crossing and, you know, three branches from one point. So I've got to do a, a nice structural prune to it, sorting that basic underlying branch structure out. I want everything flowing outwards. Nothing that's, you know, not growing in a flowing direction. So all these little ones are coming off in here. There's another one, you can see this one's coming. Doesn't flow. I've got my main branches up top, so that one comes off. Cleans up the underside. Here's a look at the canopy now. So you can see it doesn't look as impressive as it did before, but the branch structure is sorted out much, much nicer now. A lot of those crossing branches are gone. It has more taper and more movement. It doesn't have those big, long, straight sections of you know, rapidly growing branches. So yeah, yeah, always pruning for the future. Keeping, you know, your best pruning for taper, movement, direction, flow. So that's, that's the structure pruned up. I think it's looking pretty good. It's, you know, still, still got a bit of a canopy up top. I think the canopy will fill in quite quickly especially after it gets repotted so there's lots of room for the new roots to grow in the pot i can feel in this soil that there's a lot of roots in here i think it's you know quite root bound we'll see all right so the next step is the repotting of the tree my avatar home tree is planted in a plastic pot at the moment i would rather take it out of the plastic pot put it in a clay pot and keep these plastic pots for my hardy trees because they don't crack or break in the winter. So I'll have to find a new pot for my Avatar home tree. I've got a few possibilities for pots here. I've got this nice Japanese pot. I've got a Chinese pot underneath it that's a good size too. I think the cement pot, pot is too large for it. The marble pot is too small. Let's go look at some other possibilities. Down underneath here, I have a Japanese pot here, a nice one. I'll bring that out. It might might be suitable, this one. Let's bring this out. Oh, it's warm from being in the sun. Here's a look at that pot compared to the old one. So it's about the same length. It's a little wider front to back than this one. This one's a little skinnier. So that would be plenty, I think, for this size tree. It's probably too much pot, but I'd rather a little too much when the tree's in a training stage. So I think that's a good pot to put it in. I'm going to save my really nice Japanese pot for maybe, maybe a show tree or something someday. I've got my pot picked out, so now I can get the tree out of the pot and I can start looking at the roots. So here I go. So let's grab the tree by the base, pull up. And I think I have a few roots. Oh, look at this. I have a root <laughs> growing through one drainage hole and coming back up the other. So it's like it's tied down with wire. I'll show you a close up of that. Here's a look at that. So you can see there's a root growing down, which ties the tree into the pot. So I've got to cut that just like I would with wire. Very unusual. There, and I'll cut it here too. That kind of confirms it has been seven years since I repotted that, this tree. Okay, it should come out of the pot now. All right, try number two here. So here I go. That's a lot easier. So there's the pot. I can put a hardy tree in this pot now. Let's have a look underneath the root base here. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's begin the root pruning. Now this moss is quite nice, but I don't know how easily it would come off. Yep, 
it doesn't peel off. It, it kind of, I don't know. I'll just grow new moss. Some of it peels off, but I'll save it. Maybe I can use it for another tree. It's kind of getting thick too, which isn't good. So I'm just combing, you know, from the center of the tree, combing in a radial pattern, trying to comb out all these roots into a nice root base. Okay, I think I've got most of the surface kind of loosened up. I'm going to turn the tree over on its side with the branches hanging off the end of the bench and I'll start combing out from down below. I'll clean up this soil first. All right, let's get the tree now. I'll position it so the branches are hanging off the end of the bench so they don't get broken and I'll begin combing on the underside. Starting in the middle and combing outwards in a radial pattern. I'm going to wash the roots off with the hose. I have the hose hooked up now for the summer so I can get a jet of water and kind of clean up the soil between the roots. But I've got to break it up first. Um, kind of so the water can get in here. It's quite dense on the bottom. Okay. I think that'll do. That's uh, looking pretty clean. You can see I've got most of it washed out. Maybe not everything in here, but enough to start the root pruning and maybe do some more, you know, removal of soil, more raking and combing and to get it even better. So let's get it back to the bench now. I'm going to begin the root pruning now, so let's have a good look at it. So this is the one root that really bugged me. There's a big, big bulbous root here and you can see this part of the trunk kind of gets trapped. It's it's like a wraparound root. It gets trapped here, so nothing kind of no roots flow out this side of the tree. So I've got to get rid of this. It, it's it's a problem, and I couldn't do a whole lot the first time I repotted it, or maybe the second, because I didn't have a lot of other roots in the tree. So now I can get rid of that finally, and it's just huge if you look at that. I'm determined to get the roots sorted out today. Even if it involves some major, major root pruning. And... Okay, I'm getting, making progress. I'm getting the little ones sorted out here. I've got that uncombed and it's kind of a bit broken there, but it's still intact. Now this one moves, so I'm moving this one. And there's that root underneath that I might be able to get out, yes. That was the first root I started working on. There it is. There's that first root I got that one out. Okay, that's that's making progress. So I'm sorting out some more roots here. So off of this big thick bulbous root here, I've got another root that crosses the root base here that I've got to prune away. This one right here. Gone. So I'll keep working away, carving this root away. We'll come back and see how successful I was or how unsuccessful I was. Time will tell. Here's a look at the work on this root so far. So it used to come right up to here. So I've got all that carved away. Um, there's a lot of roots attached to it. So I'll keep going. I can carve more of it away. But you can see how these roots come down and then this root was in the way here. So they're kind of undercut here. Yeah, there may be some root carving coming. So I'm gonna keep working away at this. This root is soft like a almost a pear or an apple on the inside. It's very fleshy. So I'll keep nibbling away at that, trying to get it cleaned up as much as I can. 
and then we'll come back and see what's left. From what I can see here, that big root I removed, it was the extension of this one maybe, that it went down, you can see how this undercuts, and then I think it curled around and came out front and wrapped around the root base. And I think beside it, you can see right in here, I have a great big thick root like that also. And that I think is the extension of this one. And you can see I've divided this one up in the past into three roots. It used to be one big thick one. And I think, you know, down below the soil here, it's still one big thick one. So I've got to decide what I'm going to do. Like, you know, my ground plane would be somewhere up here, I think. And all this could be cut away. But that's a big, big cut with like a saw or something. Wow. Big, big cut. The rest of the root base so far is looking quite good. I, you know, other than there's a lot of tangled roots. Like here I've got two roots that cross each other. And I hate that. Like major roots. So I'd have to cut off that crossing part. Redirect roots out another direction here, but yeah. Um, so I've got to decide, you know, if I just nibble it away, maybe more roots will grow from these wounds here and I'll get a better root system without having to, you know, take the saw, which would really do a number on this root system. You know, it might, might improve it. Maybe, you know, a saw, the bottom part off, keeping all my radial roots here. Maybe I'll try that. In order to get a saw in here, I'm going to have to you know, keep my radial roots and all these ones on the bottom that are coming out the bottom, I'm going to have to cut off because I just, there's no way to get a saw in here with all these roots down here. So that's my next step is removing all these roots that are coming from the bottom, keeping my radial surface roots. So here I go. A lot of roots like that one was, I don't know where it comes from, but it wraps around underneath. So I'll cut it off. I'm going to take the tree back to the hose and clean all this off the roots and try and get a good look at all this woody part on the bottom and then I'll decide what I'm going to do with it. I've got the root base all washed up and you can see underneath here there's massive thick ginseng type roots under here. They're just like this big around. They're just huge. So there's, there's a massive one coming down here. You can see there's another one over here. So I'm going to have to just cut it off. Keeping as much of the radial roots as I can. Getting rid of that big, thick, woody core at the center here. So I'm going to try my little saw. Um, this is a Japanese pull saw. It's very flexible. And I'm hoping I can come in here. And cut this off. So here I go. Definitely a chainsaw would be faster, but I'm in no hurry, so. This knife's pretty good for this. The saw, I mean, not a knife. It's kind of like a knife. So, let's see. What's going on here? <laughs> Hear that? <laughs> Very satisfying crack. So I got that one section of root off there. looking better. Um, so I kind of got a lot of it flat but there's a lot of roots hanging down here that I've still gotta, got to remove all these downward facing roots. Prune them away. So there's a root at the back here. You can see it comes down and then it kind of 
curves over. I want it to flow out radially, so I'm going to cut that off. So I will cut it. Uh, I've got to cut right back to here. Taking it off like that. So new roots will grow in around that cut point and it'll flow much nicer. Now here's uh, those two roots that crossed. Uh, I've got to sort those out so I've got to prune off I have to prune off this side of this one so here I go like that so now you can see they don't cross anymore new roots will grow in from the cut point and everything will flow you know quite radially should look pretty good once that heals and grows in there's a root here this one kind of grows down and crosses a lot of roots below it um, I could prune it off. There's some roots coming off the bottom of it here. I could prune the top off. I think I will. So here I go. I'm cutting on an angle. Like that. It gets rid of the crossing part. And this will heal over. It's got some roots attached to it. So that's looking quite good. Yeah, this is... Uh, Turning out well, let's look at the front here. So this is where I cut it. So I've got to get roots to form and then they've got to flow outwards. I've got a few nice radial roots, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I'll do a little radial root pruning now. It's kind of getting my longer roots cut back. Get the root system a little more compact. And again, just like your branches, you want movement, taper, slight changes of direction. You want your most vigorous branches pruned back shorter. The longer ones, or the weaker ones, left longer. To kind of equalize the balance of vigor. So here it's like a root that's very straight without any division, so I'll prune it back shorter. Back to here. This one's kind of a... starts off skinny and then gets fatter. And I don't know if it's a, it's not a bad root. I'll just prune it off a little shorter. So about this one. This one could be pruned off a little shorter. This one too. This one definitely. These ones. Keeping the roots radial. That's looking pretty good. Let's, um, I'll clean up. We'll have a good look at the root system, a final look. It might be ready for planting. Here's a look at the root base now. So I'm just taking a final look at it. I think, you know, it's not perfect, but it, it's certainly made leaps and bounds ahead, I think. I think it's uh, much, much a, a better looking root base and something I can develop into the future. I think it's got lots and lots of potential now. I'm so glad to get rid of those giant, giant roots on the bottom. And it, it sits lower in the pot, which is really nice too, and I can get those roots spreading out nice and radial. You know, a nice transition from the soil going up to the trunk. So I think, I, I don't think I can do too, too much more today. I think that's good. So let's get the tree planted. Here's a look at how the root system fits in the pot. So there's lots of room all the way around for it to grow. So, you know, you could use a smaller pot. It's definitely, you know, you could use one quite a bit smaller, but I think this is a good size for it. I think, you know, it's got room for that root system to develop really nicely grow the tree, get those radial roots underway. So I'll get drainage screens in the bottom of the pot, a layer of soil, and I'll position the tree. 
All right, in with the base layer of soil. All right, let's see now. So the tree is fairly symmetrical, but the roots do flare off this side more. So I want to push it to this side of the pot a bit. That's not a bad height. I'll just rotate it around a bit and get it settled in. And I've got to get all my angles right. The front of the tree, I've got to get the tree vertical position just right. So let me get it on the turntable and I'll start taking final looks at the position of the tree. I'm looking at the structure of the tree and I've got the two branches out front and the one behind kind of fills that space in. Not sure if I want that. Let me just play around with the rotation a bit. I think something more like that. As a front view, kind of keeping the three trunks all fanning out. So that means I've got to rotate the front of my tree quite a bit. So I'll lift the tree up, rotate the pot to the front, and drop the tree back down. And have another look. So I think that's better, and the root system is, you know, a little more equally spread out in that view too. It's a little more interesting. Uh, I think I've got to rotate it a little more. I think that's looking better. Yeah. Now, let's see the position in the pot, left and right. Uh, it's a very symmetrical tree. However, it is in this view now. It's heavier on this side. So, and the roots are heavier on this side, just slightly. So I think I gotta push it a little more to the right. I pushed the tree to the right, but I think it's too far. Maybe it was better where I had it. I think that's better. I think it looks a little more balanced. My tree, I think it's a little tilted this way. I think I could straighten it out a bit. Yeah, that's more vertical. I, I like that. It actually has a bit of lean to the trunk and then the, the canopy is more vertical. The tops maybe a little more horizontal. I think that looks better. It's more interesting. This is a plain trunk, so it's not, you know, wild curves on it, but subtle is good. Um, so I think I'm getting very close. I'm liking this as the front view. I think it looks quite charming. Let's go to the side view now, see what that looks like. In the side view, it looks fine. It's not leaning backwards or forwards. It looks quite vertical. That's good too. So I think that's it. I think I'm set. So I'm going to make sure all the roots are in their position and then I'll start filling it in with soil. All right, so the final combing out of the roots, make sure they're as radial as possible. This is the first time this tree has ever been in a clay bonsai pot. Big step forward for it. It's kind of exciting. I think this pot is a good depth too. It's not too shallow, not too deep. I think the tree will really like growing in this pot. Nice and firm in there. All right, I'll get the uh, soil worked into the root base now. So I just want to make sure there's no pockets of air around the roots here. Make sure that soil's worked in properly. Mound it up a little around the base of the tree. I can always rake that away later. Just to make sure all those roots are nicely in the soil. Okay, I think that's all good. I'm going to give it a watering. All right, here I go with the water. Here's a look at the tree planted in its new pot. I think it looks quite nice. I'm starting to get a nice structure up top. I'm still keeping it nice and flat and a spreading canopy. 
yeah, it's making progress for sure, this tree. I have a viewer named Linda, and she sends me in pictures of her fantastic penjing she makes. And she has an avatar home tree also. And she just recently sent me an update, so I'll show you a picture of that. give my avatar tree a spin around so you can see it from all angles so here I go and back to the front I think ficus plane or my avatar tree made good progress today some big big steps forward especially on the root base which you can't really see but it's there it'll help get that flared roots transitioning into the soil so I, I think it'll uh, it'll really help speed up the development of the tree also getting a good root system to feed the top a new pot new soil it should do quite well that's all for this ficus Friday I'm Nigel Saunders Thanks for joining me today in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>